Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Everyone is already using artificial intelligence, but I haven't tried it yet. And so in this video, the artificial intelligence will help me create a cyberpunk style corset. I'm going to use a fusion brain and I will leave a link in the description box. According to my request, denim corset teal waist cyberpunk style, the artificial intelligence gave me the following picture. I don't know actually why I see a romper instead of a corset, but Okay, and I like how the top looks. Let's try to do something similar. But guys, in my opinion, the main colors of the cyberpunk style are gray and black. Or am I wrong? Okay, anyway, who knows, just let me know, okay? I'm going to use my old gray jeans to sew this corset, and this is going to be a two-in-one video, the AI and jeans upcycle. I have a basic corset pattern that I use to sew the top of the corset dress and I will leave a link of making this corset dress in the description box as well, okay, if you haven't seen it yet. I need to change the pattern a little, yeah, because the back is going to be without eyelets and in the front I need to leave some space for the metal closure clasps. Guys, I transferred the pattern to the tracing paper for over an hour because I made a mistake in the beginning, but now I corrected all these mistakes and my pattern is ready. To check if the pattern is correct, I made a mock-up of the corset out of cotton fabric and added a few clasps to see what the corset would look like. I made the mock-up without shoulder straps, but I think I will add them to make the corset fit well. And this is my first try on and in my opinion it fits very well. And I already want to sew it quickly to show the final result. Let's get to cutting the fabric. I should have a total of 12 pieces for the front of the corset. I don't think I have enough of these jeans for the lining fabric, so I need to find something else for the lining fabric. I also neatly ripped the pockets. I may need them in the future. By the way, remember I recently bought a rotary cutter? I overpraised it something and sometimes it doesn't want to cut the fabric. But then it does its job well. It's much more convenient than using scissors. The front side is done and I'm already tired, yeah, but I need also to cut the lining side. The details of the front of the corset are ready and I noticed that the fabric is a little bit stretched. So to keep it from stretching, I'm going to glue it on the back with the fusible iron-on interfacing, like stabilizer. I just have some leftover pieces and I think it will be enough. I first tried to glue the fabric on the table, but it somehow didn't stick. I already thought that something was wrong with this stabilizer, but then I realized that the table surface is not a flat, so that may be a reason. I took a book, put it under the fabric, and tried to re-glue the fabric, and voila, it worked. But don't do as I did, because your book can be spoiled. And that's how I glued all 12 parts of the front of the corset. While I was doing that, I was already tired. Clothes are, of course, more difficult to sew. It's easier to sew laundry or underwear. It's sewn quickly and not difficult. I pinned the parts of the corset together and next can sew a straight stitch. The two central parts of the corset front I put aside for a while. So guys, I decided to add the pocket uh, on the front of the corset, but only one from one side. Yeah. I also have this denim dress. I bought it in the second shop. Now I'm going to use it as a lining. So the lining is ready and next I need to prepare stripes for the front of the corset and I think I'll prepare seven stripes totally. Hope it will be enough, but let's see.
I made not seven, I made 14 stripes and I've already pinned these stripes to the front of the corset. Now I need to sew a straight stitch. At this stage, guys, I can pin and sew the last piece of the front of the corset. It's time to sew my pocket. I place the front of the corset and the lining so that all the seams are on the outside. Pin it and then sew a straight stitch on the top of the corset and the sides. I didn't have enough denim, I can panic, but you know, I knew it. So two days ago, I went to a second-hand shop and bought other denim. So look at it. And now I can start to make shoulder straps. Also, I need to make a beard tape. I took two stripes with 6 cm wide and 70 cm length each, folded them in half face to face, pinned them together and sewed a straight stitch. Then I turned the strap so that the wrong side was inside. And after that I steamed these shoulder straps with an iron. On the front of the corset I left small holes at the top so that later I could put the shoulder straps into these holes. I placed the straps into those holes and sewed the straight stitch from the wrong side. And now my corset looks like this. I don't sew the straps on the back now because I need to make another try on and to measure the necessary length of the straps. Now I sew on the clasps and they look like this. First I pin it and then sew a straight stitch. Next I need to process the bottom edge of my corset. To do that first I need to prepare the BST. I have a piece of fabric left over from my jeans, so I will use it. I mark stripes 4 cm wide, cut out these stripes, pin them together and sew with a straight stitch. And my BS tape is ready. I use this BS tape to process the bottom edge of the corset, just as I did for the corset with dusk. And I'll leave a link with making this corset with the dusk in the description box. Guys, my corset is ready and I really, really love it. By the way, I also made the skirt for my old dress, especially for this corset. And if you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, okay? Kiss you and see you soon!